Hello YouTube, I'm going to be discussing the trapezoidal rule, the simple trapezoidal rule on Mathematica. I'll assume that the theoretical knowledge is in order and I'll be using a, an assignment from the University of South Africa as an example. Right, the first thing you want to do is define the function if you have it or if you don't have a function as is the case here we've just been given a table you want to define your x values then define your y values. Right. So we go back to Mathematica and I'll define the x values. What this means is that I want an array of nine elements starting from 1.8 to 3.4 and these elements should be evenly spaced. If you want to, you can do it the old fashioned way as I'm going to do the, the y values right now. The y data is equal to curly bracket, then you'll have to enter this data one by one and painstakingly slow detail right so I'm not going to do that I already have defined the y data somewhere else I'm just going to copy that and with a little bit of computer magic control V and voila shift enter to run and now I've defined my data right so delta x is defined as the difference between the last x value and the first of x value divided by the number of x values. So firstly, we need to get the number of x values, and we can call this n. Use the function, the mathematical function length, to see, to get the length of this array, x data, and you'll get your length as nine. Then we can define delta x as the first x value. Sorry, the last x value, and we'll call that the nth um, x value minus. Goodness, why did I take that? Must be crazy. Right, the first x value. Why did the one register? Right, divided by the number of values in the interval. So. We'll divide that by n and we should get delta x as that value right now from the formula actually there should be a delta x multiplying this entire expression so here we should have a delta x by 2 multiplying this right so we can see in this formula that we've got f of a plus the sum of everything up until the second last term then plus the last term so everything from the second to the second last term is multiplied by two and summated together then you add the first and the last term so what i'm going to do is this middle part of the expression i'm going to store in a variable called sum Um, let's call that sum and we'll initialize that as zero then we use a for loop to sum everything from the second to the second last so how you define a for loop in Mathematica is you use capital F for four um, from i equals two because you want it to start with the second term to i less than n because we don't want it to take the last term and i increments once at a time right enter we can open a curly bracket it's not really mandatory but it's good programming practice coding practice right so what do we want it to do we want it to multiply the y value by 2 y data at i by 2 and we want this to be stored in sum What this plus equals does is it takes the current value of sum and adds it to whatever it has evaluated over here. So say the, the answer here is 3 and the previous value of sum is 0. It's going to add that 0 to 3. Then the next time it evaluates, it'll add whatever it gets to the 3 that it got the previous time and so on and so forth. So it's essentially just summing everything within this range, which is what we want it to do. And we can close this for loop because we don't need it. Right, then what do we need to do? We still need to add this term 
that term and multiply by dx by 2 or delta x by 2. So how are we going to do that? Well, that's actually easy. We can write there tn is going to be equal to the function evaluated at 1 plus sum, which is these terms over here, this middle term, plus the function again. Why did I write f? Because we've defined our function as y data. Right, so y data, the first y data value, which is that, plus the last y data value, which is y data at n. And we need to multiply all of that by dx by 2. And dx divided by 2. And hopefully that runs, and that's your answer. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section, like and subscribe.